Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All Stars Collection. Of course, last episode we defeated Bowser, saved Princess Peach, and along with it, the entire universe. But there is still more to enjoy in the game. There are now purple comets popping up across the observatory that we'll be start trying to at least get started completing in today's episode. We talked to Rosalina a little bit about them at the very end of last episode, so definitely go see that if you haven't. But basically, you can go into previous little domes like this one. And some galaxies will have, like the purple egg galaxy here, a purple comet in orbit. This is a totally new type of comet. I think there's 15 of them we need to tackle. I don't know if we'll get to all of them in today's episode, but you know, let's at least get started with our first one. So here it is, the purple comet in orbit for the good egg galaxy. This will be purple coin omelet. Oh, I get it because it's an egg. Interesting, so I think all of the comments will be like this. It'll be about collecting purple coins. So we'll have to run through as much as we can and collect them. Oh, and I wonder if we'll be able to use the Flying Mario ability again. We haven't really had to use that too much, but that could be the chance now. But that's where it gets really fun, is that we get to explore around previous galaxies and get purple coins. Collect 100 purple coins to make something neat happen. All right, well, let's see what that neat thing could be. For right now though, I guess we could also, you know, get some extra star bits and stuff, but we really don't need them, so I'm gonna be pretty, oh no, strongly focused on just grabbing purple coins wherever they pop up. So there was a good 15 of them already. We're heading to the next little planet over here, and you can just see them all over the place. We're catching some as we're flying around. Very cool. And are we going to that one? Oh, actually, we're going way out this way, so this one's not too difficult so far. Glad to see it. Okay, so I'll pick up a couple of these. We'll just sort of follow this trail. But before we go to that one, is there any more around here? Maybe there'll be some hidden ones. I don't know if there'll be exactly 100 in each area. I'm pretty sure that for some of these there might end up being more, but for some of them, maybe not as much. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, we're flying through for right now. We get over 50, so we're halfway done with this one. And I guess, I don't see any coins in there. We've already been on that planet as well, so yeah, not too much to worry about. And we're getting a ton just by flying around. Okay, so here we are, another planet, another bundle of purple coins to obtain. Is this gonna give me a coin or just more star bits? Okay, whoa, watch it. Don't wanna get squished by this thing, if I can, if I can manage. There we go. I think that's about everything, but before we do, this sling star over here had a coin waiting for me. Wanna grab that for sure. Just so that we're back up the full, then I will long jump over this way and get this launch star to bring it somewhere new. We still have 20 more purple coins left to find, I think we're about to fly towards another group of them. And I think, yeah, we just launch ourselves like that. And here come the rest of them, I think. Yeah, that should be all 10. Awesome, so we found 100 purple coins, and what do you know, that gets us our first power star of today's episode. Okay, so, yeah, pretty simple concept, 100 purple coins in each of these areas to get a grand, or just a power star, not a grand star, that was last episode. <laughs> but there we go, we're back. I wonder if that'll show if the galaxy's completed. Purple coin omelet and good egg galaxy. Galaxy complete. So yeah, this is what we were missing for some of them. We'll save our game there, and I guess we'll see where it pops up next. Maybe I'll just be able to hop back in and tackle the next galaxy, I'm not quite sure. It's not here, so we might have to do a little bit of running around back and forth to truly see where is everything, but I'm hoping we can at the least take a look out this way on the map. Oh wow, they're all over the place now. So that was sort of our introductory one. Let's go to the fountain one next, which is way over there. I bet that's the one thing I sort of wish is that there was like some kind of fast travel. So I just need to walk all the way over to the fountain and get our next level figured out, our next purple comet. You can tell this is a pretty cool way to just sort of enjoy the game after you've completed it. There's still more to do. And that's always fun when there's extra bonus content after the main game. So let's hop into this one and see what it has in store for us. The purple comet in a space junk galaxy. Gotcha, so we'll hop right into this one and collect more purple coins. So this will be purple comet in orbit. Purple coin spacewalk. Sounds like a plan to me. But once we get all 15 of these purple comet stars, we'll have the full 120 stars in the game. This one is so interesting, whoa. So there's these clusters of them. Huh. How do we handle this one? With two minutes on the clock, 
I guess I just run up and these platforms will appear, of course. But I can't go that way anymore. So we'll just sort of have to maneuver this maze in a way, but it can be hard to tell exactly where everything is. You have to sort of use some intuition to get to some of them. Already up to 20 of them, so each cluster gives us another 10 coins. Okay, is there anything over on this side? Sort of, kind of? There we go. Not too bad, already up to 40 of them. And I hope I can, you can sort of just long jump over to them, and that can sort of be a nice little, little way to shortcut it. Okay, going down here might not be the best idea. Ooh, but over here, there's definitely another good cluster of them to find. It can be easy to sort of miss them with all the things floating around. Can I go down this way, though? I definitely can. So this already brings us up to 80. So two more clusters left to find, and I already see both of them, so I grab some of this. That's a dead end. Maybe right up here. I might have missed my chance. Uh, should I go for it? Should we go for the risky jump? Whoa! <laughs> okay, it worked. That was cool. There we go, all 100 purple coins found in that one. That was pretty quick. We used up one out of our two minutes, so. Now I gotta make my way back, which might be the scariest part of all. Uh, oh geez, yeah, where do I go from here? Because the timer is still going down, oh no. Um, you know what, maybe we should just go for it. Yeah, just like that, just like that. And then a little bit more, I can hear it shimmering in the distance, we've made it! There we go! Yeah, it's crazy that the, the time still ticks down after you get all of the purple coins. That's probably what makes it more difficult, but there we go, we did it! The Space Junk Galaxy Purple Comet is completed. Which was, of course, Purple Coin Spacewalk. So, so far, we're making some great progress. That's another galaxy complete for us. Uh, we'll save for now. And maybe I can just talk to this Luma to see which ones we want to get to next. Um, here's the map. So our next one is gonna be in, oh, I guess we're popping back up in the terrace too. Actually, they disappeared everywhere else. So could I just go here? I wish I could teleport from here, that'd be so nice. So I'll look back to the terrace and we'll try that one out. So here we are back at the terrace. We have the Honey Hive Galaxy with, of course, oh no, wrong button, another purple comet to obtain. So we'll see what this one's all about. Obviously collecting coins, but on top of that, I, I hope we can do it with the uh, the bee suit. That'd be fun. Purple comet in orbit, here it comes. The Honey Hive's purple coins. So will this one be timed as well? Is that gonna be like a common element? Oh, they are all over the place. I'm spawning them just about in every corner of this galaxy. This would be an interesting one if it is timed, but I think probably not. Yeah, we'll just have to take our time, walk through and just sort of enjoy finding them. And that could be fun, you know, it gives us a chance to get some extra exploration in these galaxies that we might have not had the chance to before. It's also interesting because you can see there's sort of like a purple hue around the edges of the screen, which is definitely a bit odd. What happens if I slam these? Uh, I would just get starbits, okay. Didn't know if that would give me some extra purple coins or something. But most of these, you know, I tried my best to explore them as thoroughly as I could muster. That was cool. Whoa, yeah, that makes that fine. Let's get over here if possible. Got it. So I think this is one that will just sort of very gradually earn up purple coins as we're exploring around the honey hive. Which means we could probably go get the, the bee power up soon. I see a few more up there. They truly are everywhere. Oh, actually, that's plugged up over there. Huh, so I guess we can't go inside and get the bee power up. Maybe that'll be safe for later or something. Who knows? Yeah, I can't see any over in that distance, but it could just be really small. Oh, and there's some more starbits to get out that way. So I think we've gotten this sort of base area done pretty well. There's one more I wanna grab up here on the swing, and then we can swing our way over to this side. Obviously, oh no, oh no, uh, okay, whoops. I didn't even see that those two were not connected. That's not good, we'll have to collect all of them again? I think so. Yeah, try again, ooh, that's rough. Okay, let's try this again. I'm building up speed, and I grabbed onto that one, thank goodness. Jeez, that was very silly though, but I guess we could keep riding this one and get launched over here. Oh, I see, and then when we're on top of this block, we can get that, no problem. Very nice, very nice. We'll eventually wanna slide back down there to get a couple of extra purple coins, but for right now, yeah, there's still more of this spot to uncover. Got it. Oh, and I could go up here too. Whoa, all sorts of sneaky little spots for them. 
This gets us all, all the way up to 39 of them. I could go over there, maybe? What does this do for us? Oh, it makes the bridge, so I don't know if I quite wanna go over there just yet, though, so get rid of you. Plop down here, grab that purple coin. I see this little one hiding behind the tree. Oh, a few of them, actually. Nice. There's a few more down there that I missed. That's what I wanna focus on. Getting some of those. I definitely wanna slide down that one spot, so looks like there's definitely a few we missed. I can grab that, and this, and that just don't jump off the edge, so I gotta make sure I do. Okay, now we're good. So, let's go sliding. Where was it exactly? Uh, hard to tell. Oh, oh no wait. A little bit more like this. Got it, not too bad. Okay, so I guess now we can check out where the, the prana plants are down there. I think there might be a few more waiting for us there as well. We're more than halfway through to getting them off. So that's always nice. I wanna avoid these enemies. They're not so fun to deal with. Oh wait, 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 uh, okay. Gotta hop up here before they catch me, but I do see another one. And there's a pipe. Where's the pipe lead, I wonder? Oh, there are a couple on the other side of that, so it's gotta lead to something. Okay, really quickly then, I will, no, 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 what was that? Backflip like this, smash all of these, get a ton of service for it, but more importantly, now we have more room to maybe, oh no, I think I got it, okay, cool. That's convenient. All right, I'm up here, go through the pipe, and where are we headed? Oh, just over here. That's not really what I was expecting. There is more this way, though. Okay, a bunch over there. I don't really know which way to go first, but I'll try this one. This can be scary. Usually we have the B power up to get through all this. Not this time. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess this time is just gonna be a dead end, in a way. <laughs> Those where the rocks fall off. All right, we have 63 purple coins. Heading back over now. Just like that. Oh no, what happened there? I was trying to long jump. I guess you can't long jump out of the honey. Darn, that stinks. Oh no, that means I have to do it all over again. <laughs> okay, so I got through it this time. I don't quite know how to get up from there. Looks like this won't really get me there because I'll start sliding down before I can really get too much. So there's gotta be a way from up there to go down. Where will this pipe lead? Probably, oh, over here. Gotcha, so. We found just about everything besides the fact that there was the Wiggler with the platform over there that we can make a bridge across. So maybe that's what I need to do next. It sort of looks like it, so that's what we're gonna work towards now. I think the best way to do that would be to long dump over here, jump off that platform like this, and get up here. Because we already got rid of the Wiggler and everything. We should be good to go. Okay, so yeah, right over this way. I'll let this thing, whatever this might do, uh, it does make more purple coins, but we're falling. Okay, uh, oh, and there's a sign too. Yep, it's me, the famous Gilboard. If you wanna climb this wall, you better listen up. Okay, it's gonna tell me about wall jumping. We already know about that, so. I'm gonna ignore that for now, but I definitely wanna grab that purple coin. Another one waiting for us here. It really is like a big scavenger hunt throughout the galaxy, which is always really, really cool. Okay, I need to use some momentum to get our way up here. There's two more waiting for us. So we are, oh no, wait, wait. So close to uh, getting all of them right now. There's another one up there. So we'll focus on that in just a second. I don't wanna get too sidetracked from what's in front of us. I think, yeah, we wanna wall jump up here. Same deal over this way. And then we can make this crazy jump, maybe. I'll backflip from there. There you go, much better, much better. And I do see a few more waiting for us down there. There's sort of a whole bunch of places we can go, isn't there? 77 of them, what is down here? Oh, you know what, I think this is gonna land, land us near the slide, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll see in just a moment. So we'll pop down to all of that. We have three more here. So 80, 81, and 82. So we have to sort of get around in some alternative ways since some things are walled off, but here we go. Can I get them all? I sure hope so. Yes, I do. Okay, so we're back to 87 of them. That's pretty good. It's actually the highest we've had so far. So I just need to find a way over there, which I think I could have done the other way. Don't think there's much of an easy way for me to get there now though. So I'll have to go all the way around again. Okay, so we're way back here again and I see three more waiting for us there. So for the rest of them, ooh, actually perfect. We just need to slide down here a little bit. Oh man, got it. We're definitely coming up on the last of them. So it looks like this is definitely one of those galaxies that you need to get every single one. There's 96, 97, and then three more. Hopefully there's three more up here. 
If not, I'm running out of the options. Okay, so yeah, right there. The last two we need on top of this fountain. And then right there, geez, you have to scour every inch of Honey Hive Galaxy to find it, but we have unlocked our power star. So let's turn around and not fall to our doom so that we can get out of here. So we can just plop down this way again. Luckily now we can pretty confidently say that we know every inch of this place. We just know from top to bottom. That's always good. I'll run over here and boom, this should be our, I think, was it our third or fourth? Comment star already, so we're, we're making some pretty decent progress. That one definitely took more effort than the other one so far. But there it is, we got it done. The Honey Hive's purple coins and Honey Hive Galaxy. Yeah, that was our third one, and the galaxy's complete. So let's see what's next for us after we save. We might as well just go see the list with this Luma again. That might be just the best way to do it. So where are we headed to next? A whole bunch of places, I'll go back to the fountain for now. Okay, so we're back in here. Let's see what our next purple comet's gonna be. It will be in Battle Rock Galaxy. Oh man. See so a purple comet coming in. Purple comet in orbit. So what will this one be then? Purple coins on the Battle Rock. Gonna guess just another hundred of them. Pretty simple concept, right? We just do it all over the place. Oh man, this one seems nuts though. Luckily we do have some extra health. We can grab two along the way, but this one might be a real challenge to get through the entire thing. It looks like they cut out that little beginning section now. See, it's just a fun way to mix up the galaxies a little. Got a little afraid the camera wasn't gonna follow us there. But here we go. We'll have to jump at certain times and maneuver everything as much as possible to be able to get all of the purple coins. And I really don't want to risk losing one because I don't know what would happen at that point where we just have to do the whole thing over, you know? Maybe they'll give you some extra in this one just in case, but I can't assume that for now. I think we gotta be careful. So we'll grab those and then definitely, oh no, ooh, see I'm already starting to miss one. Uh, I gotta get back over there and then right there, come on. Oh no, I missed it. I thought it was just at the same height as Mario, but I guess not. So we'll see if we can get through this while also missing a few. Right now it's just one, let's try to keep it at one. Oh no, you're kidding me, you're kidding me, come on. Ah, the camera angle, the way Mario moves on this platform, none of it's helping me very much. Oh no, but we're already at the 56 of them, which I feel like is quite a lot, so maybe it'll be fine. Maybe I'm worrying about it too much. Uh, oh, I got a backflip over this one, right? Whoa, <laughs> that was cool. I do miss one. No, I don't, no, I don't, I got it. Come on, we have a lot of them right now. I'm pretty sure we can miss a few. There we go, much better. And there we go. We're doing pretty good overall. We just need four more. So let's hope that there's four more waiting here. No way. Don't tell me we missed a few. 96, ah, I feel for you, I really do, but maybe you don't have what it takes. See you later. No! <laughs> we lose a life for that, that's so brutal. See, I need to go through and get every single one of them. Oh no. Okay, we did it this time, I was so focused in. Oh man, that was a lot of purple coins to get. And I was very nearly missing so many of them. So what do you have to say about it now, huh? Hey, hey, very nice. I'm glad you think so, because that was not easy. All right then, so our fourth one has been obtained and they're just getting more and more challenging with each star. Gets me pretty nervous, but you know what? We'll just keep doing things as they appear and hopefully we won't struggle too much more. Either way, we got our Battle Rock Galaxy Comet done. Purple coins on the Battle Rock. So of course, once again, I'll check in with the Luma to see what is next for us. Four down, many more to get, right? So, we'll talk to you. Oh, of course, here's the map. Way in the kitchen. The ghostly galaxy, so let's head over there. So here we are, the ghostly galaxy. Hopping right into this one then to see what our next star could be. This was a very fun, but also pretty tricky galaxy. So far we haven't used any power, so once again I would love to use the Boo Mario power up here to get a couple purple coins. All right, ghostly galaxy, purple coins, and the bone pen. What is the bone pen? Whoa. Okay, so we'll be using pool stars this time. There's so many of them too. Oh my goodness. This might take a little bit of working, but we'll definitely be up to the task, right? So it is quite literally just a pen made out of bones. So 
I want to grab whatever star bits we can to begin. But I guess, you know what, before I do that, uh, maybe I should just let it drop me. I wanted to talk to the little toads and see what they have to say. Yeah, like, this looks scary. Put 100 purple, 100 of the 150 purple coins. So this one, as you can see, will have more than the normal 100. And with the time constraint, that's what has me the most concerned. We'll get what we can. Grab some extra star bits here and there too, for fun. But the, it's all about making the most of the time. And I'll tr I try to do that, but as you can see, you need sort of a sharp return. But only 25 seconds remaining. I guess talking to the toes was maybe not the best idea, but who knows? It's our first try anyways. If we don't get it, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Cut through here. Whoa, I'm getting bounced between the, the food. The meat, I guess it is. Okay, this is not looking good. I don't think I have enough time to get them, but we got pretty far along this time, you know? Yeah, only a few seconds remaining. I don't think it's gonna happen. Ah. That was like 80 something? Not too bad. If we hop straight into it this time, no dilly dallying, I think we'll be fine. So let's just give it another go straight away. Okay, go, go, go. Just like this and this, and then we're at it right away. Get some extra health so that way we're not worried about taking too much damage. And I'm sort of going at it a little willy nilly at the moment. To make some turns like that. Whoa. That was actually not so bad though. It sort of worked out. I'm just trying to get as many uh, coins as I can. However that happens, just make sure it does. Because we're already up to 60 of them, almost 70. Gotta get the perfect angle there, but down to 30 seconds remaining. Just scrounging up a couple more of them. Oh, that would've been good. No, we'll go this way instead. 90, I just need 10 more. I can definitely get 10 out of this little group of them, right? There's one more, a few more there. Just one more, there we go, with 13 seconds remaining. That was crazy, but we're not quite done. We actually need to grab the star, and luckily we were in the perfect spot for that one. Very cool. See, so there were still 50 purple coins floating around that we didn't have to worry about. Okay. So we switched from one that took a little bit more effort to one that was still difficult, but a lot quicker, you know? So that's nice. We're at 110 stars. Very cool. That is that galaxy completed and we are good to move on to the next one. So that was our fifth or sixth, I think our fifth power star so far in today's episode. Um, I would like to go for at least like seven or eight. So we'll see, we'll go to the garden, I guess now. Actually, maybe we should go to the, whichever one was first. I think it was the bedroom, then the engine room, then the garden. So we'll do this bedroom one, Gusty Garden Galaxy. Should be our next goal. So now that we're back in the bedroom, we can do the Gusty Garden Galaxy. Oh, this one should be fun. I really like this galaxy, of course, with its theming and just how the levels played out. They were really enjoyable. So we'll see if the purple coin one is just as much so as the purple comet is in orbit. So this one, purple coins on the puzzle cube. Huh. So maybe we'll have to be solving puzzles while grabbing purple coins? Sort of, kind of. Quite the maze to get through. There's so many of them too, oh my goodness. Will this be another timed one? I thought that's what really makes it difficult. Because if not, we can really just, you know, be a little bit more leisurely with it, I suppose. You have two and a half minutes to grab all the purple coins. Let's read the sign though. Quit the 100 of the 150 purple coins. So once again, we don't need to find every single purple coin. But at the least, we should make sure this starting area gets cleared up because it's, you know, right here. It seems pretty simple. So I'll grab whatever I can with this little spot. Got it, two more on this fountain, and one more over here. So, I'll get up here if possible. <laughs> there we go. So spending our first 30 or so seconds pretty wisely, we get 25 purple coins. And there's a couple more over here. So, now we can make our way over to the next side. And this one can be a bit challenging for sure, especially with the camera, not always being the best, but Maybe I'll grab all of these and then we'll plop down to whatever that hole has in the center. That sounds like fun at the least, so <laughs> I think I'll try that. But I definitely need to get 50 of them before we reach our last minute here. So far, it's not easy. Especially since I feel like we just have to get through and memorize some things. Come on, got it. Mario jumping up those maybe eats up more time than I'd like. Got it. There's gotta be some good purple coins waiting for us in here, right? Maybe? Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's not much in here. Okay, that's a little concerning, but look at all the purple coins around here. Maybe we'll be fine, maybe we'll be fine. I'll definitely grab what I can. 
Now we can get up here with one minute remaining. We just need to get uh, 37, 36 more of them. We can handle that. No problem. So now we're up here on top of the hedges. A few more to grab just like that. And now we're good to hop over to this side. Goombas everywhere though. Oh, look at all the purple coins here. This is a huge bunch of them. So I think we'll be fine once again. Just grabbing some of these. And then those over there's a huge cluster of them, but they seem like they'd be difficult to get to. So I've been saving those for last as much as possible. We really might not even need much of them. 99, and then boom, our 100th right here. The only problem now is can we get back to there in time? Hard to sort of keep track on where exactly that is, especially when the camera doesn't really show us. We have 18 seconds to figure it out. I think it was uh, not there. It has to be over here. I hear it glimmering with only 10 seconds remaining though. Can I get there in time? It's right there. Come on. Boom, we got it. That was so close though. Jeez, that can definitely be a tough one. And learning where each side of the cube sort of, like wh which, what each side is what, you know, is pretty important so that you can get back in time. Okay, well there we go. Purple coins on the puzzle cube completed. Our 100th and 11th star. All right then, so save our game with that one. And let's see what's next for us. Okay, so we'll talk to you again. Oh, of course, here's the map. The next one will be back in the kitchen. Okay, so we're back at it here in the kitchen. This one is going to have, right over here, the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Gosh, yeah. So we'll fly to this one. We'll see for ourselves. Ooh, the purple comet coming in. This is beach bombing for purple coins. All right then, so this should certainly be interesting. Ooh, they are all over the place in this one. I hope this one doesn't have a timer because I've been enjoying those ones a little bit more, but I guess we'll see for ourselves, especially since there's so many everywhere. I thought this one will be a lot more about thorough exploration. And the game agrees, no timer, cool. So I guess we'll go underwater at some point and look for some, but I think it would be better to stay above the water for right now on the dry land and collect some and then make our way down. See, what's interesting about this, right, is it's pretty comparable to Blue Coins and Mario Sunshine, but also a little bit different. You know, it seems like every 3D Mario game so far that we've played in this collection has some kind of collect coins to get star mission. And Mario 64 was just finding 100 coins in each level um, would get you a star. In Super Mario Sunshine, we had all those hidden blue coins, collecting enough of those throughout the entirety of the game to give us extra shines. And then in this game, of course, we have these purple coin missions. I think out of the three of them, I appreciate Mario 64's the most, just because, you know, you can sort of do it while exploring other things. But this one might be my second favorite. Blue coins were a cool concept, but very difficult to do. So we got a couple more we're trying to grab on these vines, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, you know, comparing them all. Whoa, which ones do you like the most? Did not mean to hop off just yet. I wanted to try to climb up it more, but it didn't really work. How do I get up? There we go. So let's try this again. A long jump onto the vine. And maybe I just need to swing farther. Whoa, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. We got them all. That was great. So now we're way up here where there's quite a few more things we can do. Oh, and we get the Spring Mario. Have we gotten the Spring Mario here before? I don't think so. That's so neat. So you can see hidden little purple coins like this one behind the waterfall with this that penguins running around. So cute. So of course, if we don't want the Spring Mario anymore, all we have to do is touch the uh, the water, which I might do soon because it can be a little bit difficult to get around with this thing. But you know, we might want to try to get on top of uh, at least some of the trees with this. Oh wait, nope, not gonna happen. Okay, we'll save it for later. But while we're near this bit of the water, I might see it. Well, yeah, grab what I can. So we're already up to 60 of them. If we grab uh, this one right over here, it's hard to get the camera to work with me. There it is. So that's definitely good. I would like to, oh wait, hop back up here. Got it. And try out some of these. Just a couple of purple coins waiting on top of palm trees. Oh, and I couldn't quite make it. That's fine. There's still little hidden ones like this one right here. A lot of the stuff we haven't poked around with too much because we used the, the vine to get up. Hmm. Is there an easy way to do that? I guess maybe just from this tree. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, the little penguin. Check out the sweet view. I know, I like it. I'll grab these two. Oh no, wait, wait. 
got it. So now we're back to it a little bit. I want to long jump to this one. Way over here, same deal. Oh no, wait, oh no, okay, we got it, we got it. There it is, we're at 66 of them. And I think this might be one of those where we don't need to get every single one of them, but I wanna be as certain as possible because it'd really be difficult to refine them later on. So let's just get back on the top of this tree. Come on, ooh, can I get it, can I get it? <laughs> Maybe not, there it is. And then I wanna bounce way up here. No, wait, no, Mario! <laughs> Jeez, the camera did not help me there much, did it? So that stinks, that means I have to do everything over again. Not what I wanted. Okay, I think I'm about caught up to what I had before. I'm going to grab this spring and just get up here this time. Once we're up here, I wanna to touch the water as soon as possible because I just don't trust the spring anymore, but I guess there's still a couple more things we could at least try to manage to get here. Like, uh, oh gosh. It's so difficult to grab things with this. Oh no, I'll leave it for a moment because I do see a few more to get up here. So I'll grab this one, grab that one, and then, oh no, before we fall off. No, come on, there it is, there it is. And then on to this one. So now I wanna go just land in the water or something. I'm pretty sure. Even though I do see a few more over there. Ah, too late, too late. So there's 71. I really am starting to think this is gonna be one of those ones where we do have to find every single purple coin. There won't be any left over, which might prove to be a bit of a challenge. So I might as well get everything else besides that one for the time being, because it seems like at least a few that were higher up, I will need the spring ability. So I'll have to come back. Oh boy, it is what it is. So can I get up here? I can, awesome. So that's good at the least. You can see, oh, I did miss one over there. Great. Is there any up here? I don't think there is, and I'm too scared to check from this angle. So we're gonna leave that. Uh, this penguin might have on this, eh? Oh, purple coins? I think there's one up above the tallest palm tree. Oh no. I hope he doesn't mean that one. I think he means those ones, which we've already been there, so that's good. Let's head back down here, because there is clearly still a few more to grab. Can I get up that thing? I don't know. Uh, and there's still, of course, some under the water, too, so. Lots to do with that. I would like to try to get to that. I might have to, come on, I got it, awesome. So that's really good. We'll start swinging around. That was pretty good. Hmm, so we're up to 87 of them. We haven't even dipped under the water too much here for this main section, so it's still lots to do, lots to do. But I did see on top of this, you know, little coach penguin. There should be one, and we got it. So with the 89 of them, I'm going to grab this shell, and let's head under the water. Really take a good look at what, what we have waiting for us down here. So far, I'm not seeing too much, but we only need 11 more coins. We know four up on the surface that we've missed. So, I guess if we can find the rest down here, that'd be great, but we have to wait and see. So far, I found one. <laughs> oh, no. Where could the rest of them be? I feel like the thing is they could be anywhere. There's one in this corner. Got it. And the purple coins unfortunately do not refill our breath. Every other coin kind of coin does, which is to say just yellow coins. We passed one there. Hold on then. I'll get this 90 second one. Grab the air there and then turn it around. Hmm. Okay, one right here. Don't mind if I do. 93. And there's our 94th one right up here. Come on, come on. Ah, I missed it, darn. Uh, <laughs> this, this penguin wants me to move out of the way, but I'm gonna turn around. Sorry, penguin. Might be in your way still. Right here, right here. Got it, okay. So that is 94 of them. Could we find two more around here? That's really what I'm looking for. I would hope so, but I feel like, you know, we've scoured through here pretty well. It'd be tough to find just two more. I'm gonna throw the shell for now so that maybe I could get a better look around to sort of take it a little bit slower. Of course, we're, we're sacrificing speed for control, sort of. Oh, what about up there? Under the islands, maybe? Not under that one. I'm not seeing too much more beyond that, so I'll take an extra last look, but I think that's everything here. Darn, it will really stink if we're just missing two after everything. You know what I might do? Break that open? No, that didn't do anything. 
<laughs> okay, had the check, had the check. So I guess if there's none behind here, which there's not, we're gonna head out of this spot and try to find some more somewhere else. Oh, so there are two more up here too. So I was looking at this one, but there's two more there. So that should really help us a lot. The chances are of us falling off though, when I'm trying to get them is a little scary. So I would like to just jump up like this. Oh jeez. oh no. Ah, oh, come on. That's gonna be so challenging. I might not wanna use the spring power for that one. The more I'm looking at it, I, th I think it might just be too risky. So if I could just please get out of the water and then try getting up there again just as normal Mario. And then we'll worry about those palm tree purple coins in a moment too. So here's 95. And how are we getting to that one? Maybe I don't even need the, the thing for this either. I could just long jump over, beautiful. That will be 96 and 97. So we know where the remaining three are. They are at the very tippity top. You can only really get there with the Spring Mario power up. So now's a great time to get that done. That's just the only thing we gotta do. Excuse me, Penguin. We're going to get those three. I'm pretty sure there's a third one. I sure hope so. Yep, there is, there is. Okay, so we'll get those and we'll be done. I feel like it's a little bit faster to do the small jumps. Okay, here we come. Get those two and wait, wait, a little bit more over. Got it. We have gotten all 100 purple coins. That took so much work, but I'm glad we got through it. So I would like to just Get rid of the power up now and find that power star. That was, oh no, way over there. So we just gotta get over to it now. Jeez, this was maybe the toughest one yet just because it was so much searching. And even now it's, it's proving to be difficult. Okay, I'll just go the other way. Oh, that is so silly. Okay, no, you're getting up that one, Mario. I'm sorry, but you got it. Just have to head all the way over there. It could be a little bit difficult to travel great distances in this game, I feel like, compared to some, maybe some of the other 3D Mario games. There we go. Now we're doing it. Finally, we get ourselves another power star. But I think that might be the last one we do for today's episode. We got seven of the 15 purple comet power stars. You know, getting all those purple coins has been a ton of fun, but there's still plenty more left to get in the next episode. But Beach, Beach combing for purple coins um, is completed. So that's nice. We'll save our game. And we'll move on from here. So, like I said, there are 15 stars left to get, and we've gotten seven of them. So, next episode, we'll get the remaining eight of them. That should be a lot of fun, but definitely let me know your thoughts on these purple coin little adventures. I'm having a lot of fun with it for sure. Oh, what is this one? Huh. I don't know what this leads to. I guess we'll find out at some point. But yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.